Why do I gotta jump into a cold lake if he doesn't want to jump into a cold lake? So if you want to, um... If... Okay, my Japanese oven is speaking to me in, like, code right now. Does the zookeeper perform tricks or the monkey? I sh... I'm not a monkey! I am... Hi everybody, welcome back to another cooking video. We are doing McDonald dupes today. Hash browns, Big Macs, and filet fish Those are my three favorite items on the menu that I almost always get or love eating. So let's try and see if we can recreate them as close as we can. Does it turn yum uh, yummy, delicious? We'll have to see, uh, but let's get into the cooking. All right, let's make our condiments. Um, I know this is not standard in uh, Big Macs, but I do want my Big Macs to taste better, okay? Yes, it's the dupe, but I don't want it to be like exactly the same. So instead of actually doing that, I'm gonna add in some caramelized onions and also some butter pan seared mushroom, okay? So we're gonna chop our onion, just half of it. Higher surface area when dice to absorb. Okay, yeah, 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 you can shut the f up now. All right, thank you. I literally asked one simple question, not to give you like a whole like encyclopedia about onions, bro. Oh my god, you know, you know, I, you know, I didn't have to do this, right? Like, it's to a point now where I can't even make whatever I want. It has to be like something that Oni Bro would like. But Oni Bro, I just want to say, is a chode. So especially now he's not feeling well, I'm just like, oh, I guess I can elevate the dish a little bit, you know? Did your cooking make him sick? No, what? <laughs> no. <laughs> I have my oil, low heat. Okay, if you want to, if you want to, um, if, okay, my Japanese oven is speaking to me in like code right now. Okay, if you want to caramelize your onions, always do it in low heat. If you're in a little bit of a hurry, medium low. I have it on medium low right now. We'll see how long this takes. Okay. Also, did you see? I, I did the, t I did the toss. Yeah, that's gonna go for a while. In the meantime, we'll do our mushrooms as well. Pony Brew wants them smaller-ish. See, once again, cooking for Oni Bro, bro. No one cares about what Geary wants. Why do I gotta jump into a cold lake if he doesn't wanna jump into a cold lake, you know? Does a zookeeper perform tricks or the monkey? I sh... I'm not a monkey! I am... I am the endangered... White tiger. <laughs> I think the onions are good. I didn't salt them or anything because we're going to be making the sauces and stuff for them as well. We'll just let the natural umami and uh, sugariness of the onion come out for itself. Okay, I'll do like a nice pat of butter. Ooh, nice, nice. Okay, now... This will be enough for like two small portions. Oh, like I said, I wasn't able to get burger bun. So I actually went to just like any grocery store that I passed and they sell dinner rolls. Okay, so we have our caramelized onion, mushroom. Okay, let me wash my potatoes and peel them. We're gonna make hash browns. The whole reason why I wanted to do McDonald's dupes was solely because the hash brown recipe that I found online. And it looks really good. Finally done. Okay. Uh, if you, you might have noticed, okay, this is actually going to be like a hash brown dupe from McDonald's. You might have noticed that, um, hash browns in McDonald's are not shredded. Normally when people make hash browns, they always shred it, but no, they're actually in clumps. So we are going to do the exact same. We are not going to shred it. We're going to clump it. Okay. So you're going to cut them into small little cubes, cut them into sticks, and then we're gonna cut them into cubes. So now they're in slices, okay? We line them up and then we're gonna cut them into sticks. And then you just turn them in the other way. This is how you dice now. So your sticks, they used to be this way, and you turn this way. So potatoes, I'm gonna let that soak for a little. While that's ha happening, we're actually gonna make our sauces. We're gonna make Big Mac sauce, which I actually have no idea how to make, and tartar sauce, which I have a slight idea how to make. Let's open our jar of pickles. I got some garlic pickles today. I can't open my pickles. <laughs> okay, hold on. Wait, why can't I open my pickles? Too weak. I can't open my pickles. No, I don't need Oni Bro. I would rather keel over and faint before I ask Oni Bro for help. I told you I don't need Oni Bro. I'm gonna drink some. That's some good shit right there. Okay, I wanna dice these. 
Usually the Big Mac sauce is more pickles, but tartar sauce has some pickles as well. So I have a little less for the tartar sauce and a little bit more for the Big Mac sauce, okay? But I don't have white vinegar, so instead well, I'm still going to use the pickled brine, but just a little bit. Garlic powder, ooh, paprika. Okay, MSG added. I'm gonna mix, mix, mix. Okay, let me give a little taste, taste. Oh, that is straw. Woohoo! Okay, we're gonna do the tartar sauce. Because we're in Japan, we're gonna do Japanese tartar sauce, okay? I already have a boiled egg. I know. Don't worry, I boiled it myself. Also, check out how red the yolk is, bro. Japanese eggs, man. Give this a rough chop, and I'm gonna put everything in here. So that was pickles earlier. <laughs> okay, mayo and a little bit of pickle juice, just a little. Okay, and mustard. Should I put an MSG again, chat? What do you think? What a stupid question. Okay, sorry. How, how dare I ask the dumb questions? Okay, tartar sauce, Big Mac sauce, all done. Now it's finally time to do the uh, potatoes. Okay, oil your pan. We're gonna cook the potatoes now. We're gonna put that on medium heat and we'll let that slowly heat up for a second. We're gonna cook our potatoes until they're cooked, but not like mushy. We just want them soft and fully cooked through. And then we're also gonna season as we cook. That's how we're gonna infuse the flavor before we fry. These are cooking nicely. Again, we want them cooked through, but not losing shape and turning into mashed potatoes. So we're gonna season it now. Salt, taste it. I don't actually know how much I'll put in this much for now. Pepper. Garlic powder. Okay. MSG. Okay. And then give it a little, maybe a little bit of paprika if you want. Why not? I think I'm gonna put in chili powder instead of paprika. Paprika's not very spicy. Chili powder. Okay, this is cooked. You wanna basically look for pieces that are, they're all like individually pieced still, but uh, completely cooked through. So taste it, as long as it's soft and everything and not mushy and mashed, like mashed potato, you're good. Here comes the fun part. I will make the uh, hash browns first. Uh, so Odie Bro can eat some. So grab your parchment paper. I'm gonna put oil in here and we're gonna fry as we go. So you grab your potato that you made already. Okay, grab enough to make a hash brown. How much is a hash brown? Use your head, I don't know. And then you basically put everything, push together everything, okay? You fold it onto itself, just like that. Over here, and then you grab your rolling pin or whatever you got, and just start banging in it. Oh, you saw nothing, you saw nothing. Miss one step, which is actually kind of crucial, which is cornstarch. The cornstarch is gonna be a binding agent. So just sprinkle, how much? I don't know. Again, just use your eyes, use your head. We're gonna do this much for now and see how it goes, but just toss it into your potatoes so that it's nice and like coated. Now, we can continue, okay? Again, put it back, put the parchment paper back over it and then start whacking it. Okay, see how it's like kind of turning into mash just a little bit and then you wanna like bring it together and form it into like a hash brown shape. Okay, but it kind of looks like this. All right, I'm gonna turn the heat on now. I think I'm gonna do a medium low and we'll let the heat oil heat up and we'll see how that goes. Places, everybody! Okay, okay, okay. Well, that was depressing. That was a, a little less exciting than I was hoping it to be. But it's happening now, it's happening. Oni bro, do you wanna come down so you can try the first hash brown? I will give you the honors. Ooh, it's it's kind of looking like it. Never mind. Okay, good enough. Yay! Okay, Oni bro, here. I already made the second one. Come down and try it. Let them know how amazing it is. Six. Out, it's not six out of ten. It's good. In McDonald's, apparently, a very common side dish that you'll see that's not fries, not hash browns, not whatever, is actually corn and edamame. So I just literally got a can of corn. I actually never tried it before from McDonald's. So I'm gonna guess what the flavor is. I'm gonna go grab my edamame and pop it in the microwave for a little bit. filet fish Do I know what the filet fish is made out of? No clue. So because I don't have a clue, I'm gonna use cod. Cod we're gonna season and we're also gonna season like everything else, like the flour, the panko, breadcrumb, all that stuff. So I have my cod here. 
uh, two small pieces and one of them is going to be just the usual dredge. One of them is going to be panko. I have some flour, but we will season the flour and everything to, that goes with it. Give it a little mixy mix so that the flour dredge is nice and seasoned. Same thing with the egg. I think just one egg is enough. Okay, egg, we're going to season just the same. Salt, pepper, and paprika, okay? Salt, pepper. Season your proteins. Okay, I'm gonna have the fish battered. I'll put it back in here and then I will do the beef and we'll do everything together. Beef will be searing and then this will be doing whatever. So dredge, same thing as usual, flour, egg, and then panko. Uh, try to do one dry hand, one wet hand, but it's only two pieces so you don't really gotta be too crazy about it. But just get all the corners in, put into your egg, use my wet hand, get it all around the fish put it in the panko okay patty super super simple we just need two small patties that fit into my like you know plagiarized unoriginal sorry uh you know fake buns i'm gonna season the beef patty on top but not on the inside i don't know how much this beef is but we're gonna go with like a quarter for now give it a squish and press it down into the shape of a pate we're not going for thin little slices like Big Mac, okay? Okay, I'm gonna salt my patties generously. I'm gonna pepper it now. I'll do medium first. I'll do a little bit of oil. MSG all for the food, okay. Okay, okay. So patties are done, filet is done. We just have to cook it now. Okay, I think this is hot enough. Let's hope I don't explode anything. Let's put one fish in here and let's hope nothing explodes. Pretty good. I bought American cheese just for this. Total kiru. Also, the filet of fish is turning out well. Ooh, look at the filet of fish. <gasps> that looks so good. I want to put in one. I want to put in two. Oh, lettuce. <laughs> filet of fish has cheese. That's your cheese. Okay. Uh, and then it has the fillet, the fillet of fish. I'll give Onibro the bigger one. Okay, now I'm gonna put the cheese on the burger and some tartar sauce. Eh, I think that's it, right? I think a fillet of fish is just cheese and tartar sauce. And then, and then, whoop! Yay! So that's one, and I'll do the burger for Onibro, which is cheese a burger patty look Ooh, yummy and then onion i have i have the sauteed onions yes okay and the the sauteed buttered mushrooms okay yes okay and so a little bit of lettuce and then i'll put a little bit of the uh the other sauce all right i'm gonna do a little bit of ketchup so this burger looks pretty good and then that's Oni Bros burger, filet fish I'll give him the, the patty or the hash browns that are not super crunchy anymore. That looks pretty good. Oh my God. I like my bread raw. I like my bread raw. It's better that way. I prefer mine softer and um, more delicate and fluffy. I don't want my bread super hard. Okay, so I'm gonna eat it burnt. I mean, I mean, not burnt, not burnt. Also, Oni bro, how is the burgers? 7.5 out of 10, okay. What about the burger? I, I missed it. The burger was a solid nine. <gasps> Guys, nine out of 10 for the burger. I count that as a win. And here we have our completed dishes that I completely ate half of already. But I made some kind of wannabe Big Mac burger, quarter pounder, whatever you want to call it. Foil fish and hash browns. Overall, I think it turned out pretty good. Onibro also gave pretty good ratings, so I can't complain. Yeah, so if you guys ever make this, let me know how it turns out. What is your favorite item on the McDonald's menu? Leave a comment down below. Uh, and make sure you like, subscribe, notification bell. I post very regularly. I am actually gonna go filming today. So more IRL content as well, if you guys like those. So keep your eyes peeled and make sure you follow Twitch as well. If you're a new viewer, and you want to know when I go live on Twitch, make sure you drop a follow as well. Okay, all right. See you in the next video, everyone. Bye. <laughs> no, the Guns N' Roses I heard about. Whoa, shh. You didn't see that.
You didn't see that. You didn't see that. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. 